sweet. I didn't realize that. Uh, two o'clock. We're in Daytona. It took like 12 hours to get here last night. Pro tip was we showed up so late that we got a challenger as the rental car. So we mobbed here, did the hour drive from Orlando to Daytona. Just sweet. Look at that thing. We're en route to uh, the racetrack. We're gonna get some seat fittings. It's five drivers, so quite a few seats to pour. And then I'm not really sure on the rest of the schedule, but we'll definitely be going through strategy. I'm gonna start the car, meet all the guys at the lawn, which I'm excited about. So uh, off to a pretty good day after a hearty corned beef hash, pancake, and chocolate shake breakfast. It's literally just dumping out. Let's see if we can get in there. If there's a track walk or anything like that, it might be a little bit moist out. That's my update, but there's the racetrack. It's massive. Grandstands will be packed this weekend. So, uh, we made it. And there's the rain over there. <laughs> there's a literal distinct wall where it's sunny over here. And over in, I guess, turn four, you would call it a, the oval. It's just coming down. Yeah, here we go again. Here's the car. Um, I'm in it for the first time right now. Get comfortable with it. Kind of had a little break in the deluge. Met everybody. Everybody seems super friendly and nice. So, it's going to get comfortable with feeling what it feels like. We're probably doing this wrong for the first time. But I'll get better, I promise. Yeah. They won't be able to get in there as good as possible. Definitely, definitely cramped. Yeah? The pedals are slammed all the way forward. I pulled your feet together. My knees are touching the bar right now. And your feet are in the pedal? Uh, yeah, my tiptoes. I'm like this. Oh, really? They're like that. And my knees are touching, so. Is it how you would have your feet? Uh, I have no. So they'd be a little bit farther, like you're a little bit straighter? Yes. <laughs> I can also pour in different. If we're pouring seats and swapping out seats, each stock, I'll, I'll have this thing slim down to nothing. Yeah. Get my butt back, too. Because my helmet will have a little space to go up. Ideally, I'd probably want to be like right here. And my butt backwards. Yeah. Nice shifter too. There's that board. Oh, yeah. That's it. Cute little car. Cute little prototype. Got like a little armrest right here on the cool shirt box. Little fan right here. This is cool. Cute little car. Yeah. Especially you have to remember we're going to be turning the thing. So like turn the steering wheel, if it's in your lap, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you. I think we should do it. If you have a, if 
you have things to like a change clothes to yeah. support it? I have a uh, suit. Alright. Like a, a B suit. Okay. So I can do the point in my things. Alright, perfect. So what I can do is I can put a pad underneath your butt, try and scoot you back a little bit. Still a little it's better, but it's still a little bit of the same, you know? Like right below your legs. Yeah, I mean it's like I need to be further back in this thing, like my whole butt. Your whole upper, upper body. I wonder if we just took the seat out and felt that. Yeah, I just, just sit. That's getting there for sure. Okay, it's stuff in the right direction. Right. That's good. That's I think. Good. I mean, that might be getting pretty close. Just tell me what else you need. What about lateral support? I could use something on the side for sure right here. Apart from that, the butt seems pretty planted, and I mean, you know, there's, there's definitely a, a substantial bend in the knees, but I think that's going to be kind of yeah, you know, like what this looks like. That's, that's if kind that's of the pedals all the way forward, that's that's what it is. Okay. Without all the padding whatsoever, without all the seat. I'm curious just what that might feel like. Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> Straight up. If I just put a, like a side bolster and something for my legs, that'd be ideal the way it sits. Jesse, why don't you sit in here like this? I have no padding in here at all. And I want to put something so I'm not just sliding around in this thing yeah. the whole time. But just in terms of like where your legs, because you're about my height. Yeah. You might have a similar opinion or if you have any better ideas. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I need to get changed to do a driver seat fitting. We're basically going to run like no padding because it's pretty cramped fit in this thing. So there's no changing room. Here, so I thought I would just use magic. So here we go. Perfect. And obviously, you don't want to slide and you want to drop it. How far is the uh, is your bag down there? Okay, I have it right here. You want me to scoot up and move further? Okay. How many? How many? It's not going to be good if I can't figure this out during the race. I don't oh. think you need it. There we go. Just put a vice grip on it. Yeah. It'll work. So this is gonna have you know two pounds or two feet of, uh, of expansion. Yeah. So it's gonna really move. Yeah. So I'm kind of all the way against the back here. How much is it? Fifty bucks for that kit? No, it's thirty. 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 Yeah. Directly from manufacturer. This is this is not like the. Warm. Yeah? <laughs> it's warm. You starting to sweat? No, yeah, yeah. Actually, I thought I'd be doing worse, but... Not yet, no. It's kind of cozy, actually. With the rain yawn, I'm kind of just pretending. That, yeah. It's going to be cozy around the hotel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, do you guys want to just throw foam underneath the, yeah. the seat? Yeah. Yeah. Got that as fast. Yep.